Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a media plate in Unreal Engine 5.4. In my content folder, I always create a folder called media. And in that empty space, I will right click and go to my media tab and find an image media source. And we'll call this tutorial underscore media. So the reason why I do this method is that it's using an image sequence. And an image sequence for pre-rendered content like cinematics, I've found is a little bit more reliable. With 5.4, there have been some updates and we'll cover that in a little bit, but for now, we're going to use this image media source to start. Under the sequence path, let's go to the three dots. And another thing that's super important is that an image sequence for cinematics in Unreal Engine 5.4, or just in general, in your content folder, in your file explorer, this is my Unreal Engine project here. We can see I have my project here, my project two, for the sake of this tutorial. And under my content folder, I have a folder here called movies. You will have to make this folder manually. But if you go into your content folder and make the folder, you can go ahead and make subfolders under that and you can drop in your image sequences. So I have this little forest sequence right here. I can double click on this and I can see that I have an image sequence. Now you can reference another image sequence on your hard drive, but I do recommend making a folder. Unreal just likes it that way. And a general rule of thumb for Unreal is treat it like a, a picky toddler. You must feed it chicken nuggets. Otherwise it will be very upset and unhappy. So with that all the way, now we have an object in our Unreal Engine project that is referencing the image sequence that we want. So now what we need to do is right click and go to media and find a media player. And we're going to get this window. It's asking us, do we want to make a media texture? Yes, we do. And the reason why we do this is that we also want the player to also create a texture to play on something in our scene. So we'll call this tutorial underscore player. And then we can see that it automatically makes this media texture. Now under this player here, we have to go ahead and click on our tutorial media and we can see here now it's playing back our little image sequence of this shot that we have in our scene. So now with the media player done, we have this texture here, but we need to make a material for it. So this texture, we can right click on it and go to create material. We can call this exactly what it is, it's tutorial player mat, and then we double click on this, and now we have a basic material that we can play with. But when it comes to a screen somewhere, you, it's generally emitting some light. So what I do is I will hit M on the keyboard and hold M and then click in the empty node space, and that's gonna create a multiply node, and we will pipe this multiply into the emissive color, and then under the empty space, we'll hold the one key and then click to add a single node parameter, a single value. We'll call this our emissive, and then we will set this to one. So it's just emitting one unit of light, basically. We can close this, and now what we can do is we can find an object in our scene to play some media. I have a laptop right here, so let's go ahead and ungroup everything and find our screen. We have our screen object right here. I don't want to open some stuff, so let's just close that. And we'll take this material and drop it onto the screen. And now we need to go into a level sequence. I have this demo right here. I will double click on that. And we can see here that nothing's happening, nothing's playing. First off, we need to go ahead and add a media track. So this media track, if you don't have it, you can go to the add button and add a media track right there. It's at the very bottom for me. And then we can go ahead and hit the plus sign and add a media source. We'll add this tutorial media. And then we also need to right click in the media spot and go to properties and set the material texture or the media texture to our tutorial, which is going to be right here, tutorial player video texture. And now if we go ahead and play our level sequence, hey, look, we have some stuff playing on the laptop in our scene in real time. So this is the method I still use if I want to play media on geometry in my scene. Now, if you do want to take advantage of some of the new stuff, you can go up to your settings, plugins, go into motion design, and you can find the motion design tools. I have it enabled already. We'll get to that in a second, but you will have to restart Unreal to get access to that. So now let's go ahead and hit the plus motion design button up here. So now we're in the motion design mode. What I love about the motion design mode is if we go in to 
our actors here, we have a media plate. So all the stuff I just did, we kind of can ignore, but now we have this object in our scene right here. Let's go ahead and zero it out and just fly around our scene. We can just ignore the car right there. What I do like about the media plate actor is we can scroll down and actually find a file on our computer to reference our media. And we can also have it be a plane, a sphere, or a custom object. We could even reference that screen that we had earlier. Now, the reason why I don't like using this method is because this laptop geometry came in exactly where the screen needed to be. So because of that, you'd have to play the dance of finding your custom object to go exactly where you want it, but you could very well just find, I don't know, sure, what's this? And we could have this object play media. I'm just going to keep it uh, as a plane for now for this tutorial. And under the media path here, we can either find an asset and we can find a media source, which would be the media that we imported into our scene if we wanted to, or we could just go to file and find an object or a media on our computer. So I'm going to go ahead and find something really quick. And I have this folder here with this black paper stock asset that I have. Now I want to show you two things. One, I have the default asset as I have it, which is a single second animation, just looping 12 frames of paper. And if we go ahead and open this and we drop this media plate into my level sequence down here, we can go ahead or let's go ahead and open up a new sequence. We'll take this media plate and drop it in right here. Now, if you click on this left tab in the motion design mode, the sequence here, this is the default motion design sequence. And now if I go ahead and play this back, we can see one that the media plate auto size to the aspect ratio of the default video. But if we also extend our animation out by moving the endpoint and then just pulling this out, it's going to loop. But there's a problem with the Unreal Engine motion design mode where it will recache at the end of every frame. So we get the little hiccup and pause every 12 frames or however long this animation is. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but there is a workaround here and it does involve using something like After Effects or Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve. If we go into the file asset, I have a second version. And this second version, I reduce the frame rate of it. So it's a little bit studier, more like motion graphics-y, and it's about two minutes instead of one second. So now if I double click that, it's going to go ahead. Let's just reset our media plate in here. Take this, drop it back in. Come on, dude. Media plate drop it back in. Hello. Cool. So now we have our media plate in our scene. And if you recall previously, you can rewind, we had a little line indicating the end of the sequence every 24 frames. But this animation, as we play it back, it's a little bit slower, obviously, but it also isn't giving us that weird uh, hiccup every 12 frames. And if we go ahead and navigate to that asset really quick, I have the file right here, and if I go ahead and go ahead and play it back, you would typically use something like this in 2D motion graphics. You'd put some text in front of it to say, hey, look at this cool thing, and you use this graphic. So long story short, you have the media play option where you can actually directly reference files in Unreal Engine 5.4 with the motion design mode, or you can do it the old fashioned way, which is still my preferred method because it's very reliable right now and I will leave it there. The last thing I should mention when it comes to creating your media plates is that whenever you have an object in your scene that you want to play the media on, your geometry and your UV map is incredibly important. So for example, if I go ahead and find my media plate and I go to my material texture and let's just drop on this car door right here. We can see here that it's doing a weird funky thing so that we, if we play this back, let's go ahead and navigate to our level sequence here. Do, do, do. We're getting some weird, crazy nonsense. The reason why this is happening is the UVs on this geometry is not necessarily the best. Now, you can work around this if you go into your selection mode over here, go to the modeling mode, and go to your UV tab. And under UVs, we could try using automatic UVs, and we can see what happens. This actually is not that bad, all things considered. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit accept, and now we can see that the, well, one, the video is flipped, so that's going to be a problem but that's a problem for future Jags. But now we have the media playing back on the side of the car if we wanted to. So 
your UVs are very important if you want to have your media playing on a specific object. Same thing with the laptop here. The screen is a 16 by nine aspect ratio uh, geometry and the video is 16 by nine aspect ratio video. So it all matches. So these are all the little gotchas about media plates in Unreal Engine 5. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comment section down below. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, comment section is down there for that as well. And with all that said, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you with the final tip. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You'll make some good. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.